Hi, and welcome to WebQuest 101. This is the third in a series of short videos on how to build your own WebQuest. We last left off talking about QuestGuard, the online tool that you'll use to build your WebQuest. You should be in QuestGarden at this point and have created your very own WebQuest already. If you have, as you scroll down the page, you'll see the name of your WebQuest and you'll be able to edit it. Click on the little pencil right next to the name of your WebQuest to edit it. Now let's have a closer look at the editing options that you do have. Editing your WebQuest is a snap. All you really need to do is work piece by piece through your web quest, filling in the information that it asks you for. Most important to complete are those checkpoints. That's how you and your instructor will talk and communicate with each other about the progress you're making on your web quest. Let's look at the goals and context, for example. Here, you'll fill out critical information about who your learners are and what it is they'll be learning. You can also include co-authors here. In the task and assessment, for example, you'll be completing tasks that require you to enter more information than the simple check boxes that you did in the past section. You'll know these because there'll be big text areas where you can enter in paragraphs of information. Notice that you have a regular text editor at your disposal. You can do things like add hyperlinks, photos, images, or whatever else you're interested in. And then, when you're done, you must save. This reading level indicator will let you know if you're on target with your language. It's not 100% accurate, but it gives you a good idea of whether or not you're meeting your student's grade level. Once you're done with all five checkpoints, meaning that you're done with your entire web quest, it's time to publish. When you've published, select the options that work for you, make it public to the world, and then click the publish button. When you're done, you'll get come to a new page where you need to grab the URL of your new web quest. Take that URL and post it to your own website for the whole world to see, including your own students. Now even though using Quest Garden is a snap, building things like the process and the task are not. That's what the next part in this series is about. How to nail that process so that your students get what's going on and you've provided the right amount of support for them to be successful in the environment that you've created. See you next time, and good luck!